Evolution is one of the coolest parts about the Pokemon games. Getting to have your Pokemon grow into new, more powerful forms is always a treat, especially when you're dealing with new Pokemon where you don't know what you're gonna get. But one thing about Evolution is that not all Pokemon evolve in the same way. Some evolve twice, some evolve once, and some don't even evolve at all. I already made a pair of videos a while back looking at what it could be like if every Pokemon that doesn't evolve actually got an evolution, so today, as sort of a follow-up to that, we're gonna look at what it might be like if Pokemon, who evolved once, actually evolved twice instead. I won't be covering every Pokemon with just one evolution, instead I've just got a good handful, but if you guys like this video, I would definitely be down to make a part 2, so leave a like and a comment if you enjoy. Additionally, to illustrate the concepts in this video, I will be using some fan art that was made by several very talented artists, all of which are credited in the description and will also be credited throughout the video, so be sure to check them out. And with that said, let's go ahead and get into this video, which is all made possible by today's wonderful sponsor, Mech Arena. Mech Arena is a completely free-to-play mobile game for iOS and Android devices where you take part in team-based PvP arena matches while piloting giant awesome mechs. Your basic objective is to take down the other team while capturing beacons on the battlefield, but there's so much more to it than just that. There's a variety of different mechs with their own special abilities that you can unlock just by playing the game, and there's tons of different weapons available that you can equip to your mechs. The cool part about this is that you can find which weapons and mechs you like the best, and create a custom combination that best fits your playstyle. It's also pretty easy to level up and gain experience and rewards just by playing the game, as opposed to having to throw a bunch of money into it. Especially because the game is currently handing out daily login rewards to celebrate the game's global launch. So if you want to get in on the action and play Mech Arena for free, you can use the link in the description or the QR code on screen to download the game, and when you do, you're also going to be gifted a black carbon skin, 300 A coins, and 50,000 credits to give you a huge head start. So download the game today to jump in on the fun, and a big thank you to Mech Arena for supporting the channel. Okay, so getting into the Pokemon now, one of the reasons why I wanted to cover this topic is because there's a lot of two-stage Pokemon out there that look like they could really use a third form, and one of those Pokemon, in my opinion, is Swellow. Swellow is the evolved form of Talo, who is Hoenn's starting bird Pokemon, and most of the time, starting birds evolve twice. Talo is the only starting bird, other than Hoot Hoot, that only evolves one time, so I think it could definitely stand to get a second evolution to help it stand out amongst its feathered Route 1 brethren. And this design by Fatmon on DeviantArt shows what that could look like. Now, this design in particular was conceived as a Mega Evolution, which will also be the case for several other entries on this list, but even still, I feel that it illustrates how Swellow could be built upon, and built upon well in an evolution. I definitely think there's room to grow with Swellow's design, in addition to just giving it that third stage evolution that most of its other generational counterparts have, so I think a Swellow evolution could be pretty stinking cool, even if it's probably not very likely. Another Pokemon that could use a second evolution just to make it a little more relevant is Finneon and Luminion. Although I completely disagree with this myself, these two are constantly talked about as one of the most forgettable Pokemon from Gen 4. And just like with Swellow, I think Luminion still has enough room to grow that it could get an evolution and really help this family out in terms of their public perception. This design by Smiley Fakemon on DeviantArt shows exactly why this is the case, and if Luminion ever got an evolution like this, I feel like it would skyrocket this family in terms of their popularity and would redeem them in a lot of ways. 
This one was designed as a Mega as well, but it clearly illustrates the potential for a full-blown evolution too, and since I am a big fan of these Pokemon personally, that just makes me want to see a Lumineon evolution happen even more. One Pokemon that I personally feel just hasn't fulfilled the potential it has is Heliolisk. Along with its pre-evolution Helioptile, these are some excellent Pokemon, but it honestly just seems like something was left on the table when it comes to this family being just a two-stage line. The thing that irks me in particular is that these Pokemon center heavily around the sun, with Heliolisk in particular using it as heavy inspiration, and yet these two are electric normal types instead of electric fire. Electric Fire isn't a type that's been done yet, and it's a really cool combination which could have been done really well with this line, and it's all the more reason in my opinion as to why they should have a second evolution. This is why I took it upon myself to right this wrong when I created Heliovin for my Pokemon Cardinal series, with the help of Oscar Belmonte. This design, in my opinion, really fulfills the potential that Heliolisk has to turn into something truly awesome, and yes, of course, it is an electric fire type. As Generation 6 becomes older and older, the likelihood that Kalos Pokemon will be revisited someday just grows higher and higher, and I hope when that time comes that Helioptile and Heliolisk are given the spotlight with an evolution. Similar to the Helioptile family, another Pokemon that could have some amazing potential in a second evolution is Blitzel and Zebstrika. Not only do I feel that there is still room to grow with Zebstrika and that it could turn into something amazing, but I also feel like it loses a little bit upon evolving from Blitzel. Blitzel has a really unique, cool, and charming look to it, which kind of falls flat in my opinion when it evolves into Zebstrika, so another evolution could see it rebound and return to all of those awesome qualities it had in its pre-evolution. This design by Naiji and Idu on Instagram, while designed as a Mega, is a perfect example of the amazing potential that a third stage has for this family. This design in particular does exactly what I said a Zebstrika evolution can do. It brings back all of the cool and unique qualities that make Blitzel great and adds an incredible amount of strength and just straight up awesomeness to its look as well. So with the ability to save this entire line from relative obscurity and there being room to grow with a third stage, I think Blitzel and Zebstrika should definitely be looked at to receive an evolution someday. This next one is another one that has to do with something of my own creation, and that would be a second evolution for Minchino and Sinchino. While maybe not as necessary as the others on this list, Sinchino is still a Pokemon that, as a final evolution, doesn't really change much from its pre-evolution, and has always felt kinda small and dainty to me for a final evolution. As such, it would be cool to see Sinchino gain the ability to evolve again and become something like Sinchilla here, another Pokemon from my Pokemon Cardinal series drawn by Oscar Belmonte. Now, admittedly, this is a more unique take for an evolution of Sinchino, since it's part psychic type, and I'm not exactly expecting that to happen in real life either. But if nothing else, I think it does show that a Sinchino evolution could be pulled off and pulled off well, and with these two kind of being a bit of a blank canvas anyway, an evolution that goes in a more creative direction, such as Sinchilla, could be an excellent fit for these Pokemon. One Pokemon that a lot of people have wanted to see an evolution for, or at least a Mega, is Pyroar. This is because when it and Litleo were first seen, many speculated that they might end up evolving into a Manticore Pokemon, which would be all kinds of unbelievably awesome, but sadly that never came to fruition. 
With the way Pyroar is designed, I don't necessarily think it looks like it needs an evolution, but I also feel like the prospect of a Fire-type Manticore Pokémon is just too good to pass up. And this design by Fatmon on DeviantArt shows exactly why. The concept is just the perfect combination of cool and strong, and the opportunity is just there for the taking. I have no doubt that if a Pyroar evolution like this ever did really happen, it would easily be one of the coolest Pokemon of all time, so I would love to see it happen someday. As of right now, the Galar Pokemon are the newest set of Pokemon that we have, and when we finally got our hands on Sword and Shield, one Pokemon that I was somewhat surprised to see didn't evolve again was Eldegoss. We got introduced to Eldegoss and Gossifleur prior to Sword and Shield's release, and due to Eldegoss's appearance as well as this family clearly being that early game grass type, I kinda figured it would be a three-stage line just like many of the other similar grass types from other regions, but unfortunately that didn't happen. If it did though, it would definitely have a lot of potential, as this design by Trainer Mats on Instagram illustrates. This definitely could have been the Sarina of Galar, which again is kinda what this family of Pokemon is anyway, hence why I was so surprised to see that Gossifleur only evolves once. In hindsight, it does make sense with Eldegoss being an Elder and all, and how could you really evolve past an Elder Pokemon, but again, this design shows how it could work, and as someone who really likes this line a lot, but wouldn't really use them with Eldegoss being the final stage, I would have loved it if this family would have got a second evolution. One Pokemon that has never really done it for me is Darmanitan. Ever since I first saw it, I felt it looked really strange, and almost like it didn't quite fit as an actual Pokemon. This is of course my own personal opinion, but on top of that, it's another one of those two-stage Pokemon that just kinda looks like it could have some room to grow, and I think it would be awesome if it did actually get an evolution. Now, this one is purely hypothetical because with Darmanitan's Zen mode, it's extremely unlikely to get an evolution on top of that. But as this design for a Mega Darmanitan shows, which has been done by Bad Afra on DeviantArt, it could still look awesome nevertheless, and I think this kind of thing would be able to work as a regular evolution too. While Darmanitan has always looked weird to me, this design takes that weirdness and turns it into coolness and strength, which is pretty impressive considering I've consistently felt this way about Darmanitan ever since it was revealed, and if a design like this could pull that off, I think Darmanitan could definitely benefit from having an actual evolution, even if it's not very likely at all. In this particular category of Pokemon, there is one specific Pokemon that potentially got screwed over worse than any other in terms of getting a second evolution, and that Pokemon would be Jinx. Unlike the rest of these picks where there's merely potential for a cool second evolution, it's very possible that Jinx had it, and it just never saw the light of day. This is because Jinx is a part of an unofficial trio with Electabuzz and Magmar, and over the years, the three have been a fairly tight-knit group. They even all got pre-evolutions in Generation 2, and Electabuzz and Magmar got evolutions in Gen 4, but sadly, in this scenario, Jinx just got the short end of the stick. Given the closeness of these Pokemon, and them receiving evolutions and pre-evolutions all at the same time, it's very possible that a Jinx evolution was at least considered, but any attempt to bring any attention to Jinx was shelved after Gen 2 due to the huge amount of backlash and controversy surrounding this Pokemon. It's honestly a shame if true, but if Jinx had received an evolution just like its other two counterparts, it might have looked something like this design by Nige on Instagram. And honestly, it's not a bad look. 
I know a lot of people just don't like Jinx in general, but if its evolution was able to look something like this, I would take it. However, the cruel irony here is that even though this is the one entry on this list that has probably come the closest to actually happening, it's also probably the least likely now due to the aforementioned controversy. Another Pokemon that is almost universally looked down upon, that could stand to try and win some people over with an evolution, is Skuntank. Now, people don't really dislike it because it's bad, it's more so because it's gross, but that is what it's trying to be, so it's kind of hated for successfully doing what it set out to do, which is a cruel, cruel piece of irony if I've ever heard one. However, even though with an evolution it would still be going the stinky route, it could at least up the cool factor, which I think could win over a lot of people who only dislike it because it farts in its cry. Anyway, a design like this one by Dadrake on Instagram is a good example of the kind of thing I'm talking about. It doesn't divert from or sabotage the theme that Skuntank is going for, but instead it just tries to turn Skuntank into more of a BAM. And if you don't know what I mean by that, feel free to look it up, but overall, I think it succeeds in doing that. So who knows, maybe one day Skuntank could get an evolution like this, and people won't have to hate it anymore just for being itself. And finally, our last Pokemon of the video is going to be none other than Macargo. Macargo is certainly not a bad Pokemon by any means, but I also feel like it could definitely use some oomph at the same time, and I think there is a lot of potential for a Macargo evolution to be amazing. This design by J76637701 on DeviantArt, which is a concept for a Mega Evolution, shows how Macargo's design can be expanded upon even while just intending to look like a Mega. So a full-blown evolution, I think, would be fantastic. I feel like a third stage for the Macargo family could really turn this Pokemon into a powerhouse and turn it into a go-to fire type Pokemon that anyone would instantly add to their team whenever it became available. Although we have no idea if this will ever happen at all, I think it would be pretty cool. So here's hoping that we might actually see it happen for real in the future. And that is what it might be like if Pokemon who evolve once evolved twice. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments below and leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Also, let me know if you'd like to see a part two to this video and be sure to check out all the artists of these designs with the link in the description. With that said, I will see you guys very soon with another video and until then, as always, I love you all and I will smell you guys later.